Well, after the disappointment of Athens in 2004, Perdita Felicien has certainly bounced back. She had injuries to contend with, and I'm sure she had some self-doubts as to whether or not she was capable of again running with world-class competitors. Well, Perdita has invested so much time and effort to become lean, fit, and healthy to bring her back to the world stage, and she has done such a great job of that, running her best times as of late. Just making this final is a true feat in itself, but she looks poised to do something quite exceptional. The 2007 Pan American gold medalist, Delarine Ennis London of Jamaica, is in lane three, and there's Perdita Felicien, 2003 world champion, second in the Pan American American Games to Ennis London. Susanna Kalur of Sweden, who has been running very well this year, is in lane five. And the defending champion, Michelle Perry, the best time in the world this year, a clocking of 12.44, running in lane six. In lane seven, Canada's Angela White, a silver medalist at the Commonwealth Games in Australia. She was a bronze medalist at the Pan American Games. The 2002 Commonwealth Games silver medalist, Annette Dixon, runs in lane 8 and Ginny Powell, twice a US champion the second best time in the world this year a time of 12.45 runs in lane 9 well, it's so great to see three world-class Canadians. Unfortunately, Priscilla Lopes was not able to make this final, but Perdido Felicien and Angela White, two top Canadians at the top of their game, making this, what some would say, one of the toughest finals in this track and field competition. We saw the blanket finishes of both of the semifinals. Anything can happen, as Perdita knows, good and bad, winning the world championships and then falling on the first hurdle at the Olympic Games. So this hurdle race can certainly show the great and the terrible at any moment in time. But all of these women look poised to do something very, very special. Great sprinting conditions, not much wind whatsoever. Off to a very good start is Michelle Perry. Susanna Kalur is also moving well. Perdita Felicien trying to come back at them. Angela White fading just a little. Susanna Kalur in the lead. Now here comes Michelle Perry. Here comes Perdita Felicien. What a close finish. Was it Perry, the defending champion, or was it Perdita Felicien? Very, very close. Neither of these athletes certain as to who got to the finish line in the gold medal position. Susanna Kalur at one point had the lead, and then both Michelle Perry and Perdita Felicien were able to run her down, and we're awaiting the photo finish to see which one is the champion. Look how close this is on the lean. It appears as though it may just have been the defending champion, Michelle Perry. And she is the champion. She leaned in just ahead of Perdita Felicien, but she has to be extremely pleased. She's going to take a victory lap with the Canadian flag. A 12.49 clocking, a seasonal best performance. And this silver medal at the 2007 World Championships would certainly indicate that Perdita Felicien is back. Oh, what a great overhead shot, but it all came down to the last three meters. Susanna Kalur looked fabulous to hurdle number eight, but Michelle Perry, the, Oli the Olympic champion, runs so smoothly, keeps her focus and concentration down the track, doesn't let Susanna Kalur distract her whatsoever, and a great lean after that last hurdle solidified the victory, but what a great effort by Perdita Felicien to come up with a silver medalist performance. She is back very close to her own personal best into a slight headwind so we have seen Perdita Felicien come back she is in the best shape of her life a great effort for a silver medal performance 12-4-6 for Michelle Perry 12-4-9 for Perdita